ICANN is an international consensus-driven organization that uses a bottom-up policy development process to develop our policies globally. And our commitment is to a globally unified, stable, and secure internet. After six years of intensive development, later today or tomorrow, uh, GMT time, heralds a new era in the domain name system and yet another milestone in the development of the internet with the opening of the third round of generic top level domains or what we call new generic top level domains uh, in, uh, for the internet. Uh, this will go online and applicants from around the world will be able to apply for domain names either in Latin characters or in their own native scripts of different languages. And this is the first time in the history of the internet that generic top level domains can be created in non-Latin characters such as Chinese, Arabic, Devanagari of the Hindi language, etc. Um, uh, it's been developed through very deliberate, very thorough and exhaustive debates, discussions, and revisions of the community. The applicant guidebook, which is the rule book for the program for its implementation, is over 300 pages in total. We'll be publishing the eighth version of that tomorrow, which includes very, very minor uh, uh, clarifications as a result of the questions that have been coming into our, our website online. Uh, we've consulted heavily with governments around the world and received government input for over 80 changes in the program. We were able to accommodate more than 70 of those uh, last year. Uh, and the program is ready to launch. From an operational stand, uh, standpoint, the executive team is prepared, the operational teams are prepared, including the application processing team, the third party contractors have all been signed up, the panelists for the review panels uh, uh, have been contracted with, uh, and the technology systems have been developed uh, and tested. Uh, and uh, uh, we are prepared to launch this program professionally and fairly and objectively, which is our job at ICANN, because we're a technical coordinator for the domain <coughs> name system. And it's not for us to choose favorites. We will administer the program fairly per the program guidelines that have been published so that any party has a fair chance equal uh, to the quality of their application. Um, uh, we also think that the world is ready for this innovation. Uh, we have traveled through 38 countries collectively over the last four months. I personally have visited 16 and meet, met with the private sector, with governments, with NGOs, different groups to talk about this program. We've had discussions and debates. These were not one-sided presentations, but they were, uh, we often brought parties to the table that had different views about the program. Mm -hmm. Some liked it, some didn't. That's fine. ICANN's role was never to advocate this program. ICANN's role is to educate and then to implement and then to deliver fairly. Um, but we did learn that there's considerable interest, as you've also noted in the, in the press, uh, and, and controversial uh, with, with some parties and some stakeholders uh, in particular. Um, so why in the wake of intense criticism are we moving ahead? because we believe that this program will do what it's designed to do, which is open up the internet domain name system to further innovation. There are many protections for, uh, in the program to protect various rights holders, including trademark rights holders and businesses, but also other rights and concerns that parties have. Uh, and uh, we think that the competition that offering these new choices offers will help accomplish our mission uh, of creating more consumer choice and competition in the global marketplace. And domain name prices in the GTLD registries have dropped by approximately 70% since ICANN was formed just 12 years ago. That's created significant benefit for users of the internet around the world. And we certainly hope that this new program will create even more competition uh, on the, in the internet uh, in the future. And we think it'll unleash innovation uh, for one thing, even having new top-level domains that are not all in Latin characters uh, is an enhancement to the Internet, and it will be interesting to see what happens. We certainly have, have heard expressions of, of potential interest informally from, from parties, and we'll see what they announce publicly and what they choose to apply for. 
Uh, some of the protections that are built into this program include criminal background checks for the officers of the organizations that apply for the top level domains. We have a public comment period on all of the strings. So after we collect all the applications from January 12th through April 12th, we'll publish for you and the world to review every single string that's been applied for and who's applied for it. And anyone in the world can comment and can say they object to a string or they find it objectionable or they like it or whatever the comment might be. But it'll be open for public comment. It'll also be open for objections, formal objections, through the panel decision processes where expert panelists outside of ICANN will make the decision on who loses and who wins in those disputes. And if the loser is the applicant, then their application will fail and will not move forward. Um, there's also a trademark clearinghouse that's being created, which is uh, a database where any party that can prove they have government documentation to show they own a trademark or service mark can register it in the database and then be informed in the future if anyone in the world registers their mark at the second level in any of the new top level domain registries. This has not been done before and is a, a novel and I think important uh, structure and part of the program. We've had uh, multiple bidders to provide those services and we'll be choosing an, outs uh, an outsourced service provider soon. Um, there's also a sunrise registration period which means when a new top level domain actually comes into the root of the internet and goes operational, we call it the sunrise. There's a period of time during which trademark holders have a preemptive right to go and register uh, domain names before other parties are allowed into the new registry. Uh, and then there's also uh, we're utilizing existing uh, dispute resolution processes as well as introducing new dispute resolution processes uh, in this version of the program. So there's a significant set of protections. It's one of the reasons it's take, taken the community six years to develop and agree upon this program to the point that the board could come and vote on June 20th of last year in Singapore to approve the launch, which occurs tomorrow. Uh, there's also limited financial assistance for needy applicants, uh, especially from developing countries. And there was a request that we lower the application fees from $185,000, which covers ICANN's estimated cost. It's a break-even program with a separate funding and accounts. Um, and, but the, the request is to lower the fees from $185,000 to $47,000. The ICANN board has agreed to set aside $2 million to support that program. And we're now working out those details based on the public comment that's been received. But we're hoping that will help some needy applicants around the world to be able to participate in the program that might not have been able to otherwise. Um, the application guidebook, I think as I mentioned, will be published again tomorrow with minor clarifications, but there'll be no, no significant changes or, or new news there. Simply, we'll incorporate the clarifying comments that we've been providing online uh, in the question and answer section of the new GTLD's website. So those are my comments, and Steve? Thank you, Rod. Um, you covered uh, essentially all of the uh, elements, so that's, that's great. I'll be very brief. Uh, uh, Rod focused on the uh, very extensive work in the last six years. Jamie gave a perspective of a hundred years, roughly. I want to I want to choose a couple of points in between those two. Uh, the, the network technology that we're that we're dealing with was started in the late 1960s, early 1970s, and as we have all experienced, has grown explosively. Um, ICANN is uh, 12 years or so old. Um, and was started as a consequence of the uh, details that were necessary to uh, manage the explosive growth, uh, one aspect of the explosive growth that comes with the, uh, with the network technology, and that had to do with the uh, management of the domain names, the address space, and the other identifiers that are sort of hold the, um, the core pieces of the network together. We don't have anything to do with the operations, we don't have anything to do with the transport of da actual data, but just sort of the directory structure, if you will, of the names turned out to be an ever-growing uh, picture. Um, we have, uh, you know, by, by various estimates, two billion or more users on the internet, and there's persistent discussion about getting the rest of the human population attached to the network. Um, and so that's a, that's a very interesting position to be in because uh, we, we're now, instead of looking um, at 
the beginnings or the explosive growth, it's almost as if we're looking at how do we complete the picture and get everybody involved. And in the same fashion, uh, with the domain name system, uh, we've held it back for quite a long time on the uh, expansion of the top level domain system to be very careful with it. We had a couple of earlier rounds that were very uh, uh, limited. And now we're uh, poised to open it up. And again, it's a sense of completing and opening up to be inclusive for everybody. And as Rod uh, emphasized, and I would certainly uh, 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 echo, um, because of the American origins of the internet uh, and the initial foundations that are all based on the uh, traditional Latin uh, letters and numbers, um, there's been a, a less than uh, uh, complete treatment of other scripts of Chinese, of Arabic, of Cyrillic, of uh, Hindi, and so forth. Um, and uh, uh, one of the attributes of the, this opening that's taking place tomorrow is to embrace not only new top-level domains in the, uh, in the existing environments, but also around the world, so that this is a major step in the globalization of the Internet and a, uh, providing a, 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 a equal access and uh, equal uh, invitation, if you will, to users over the entire uh, world. Um, and so that's, that's a, a very positive step that I think we're all quite excited about. Um, the window opens tomorrow. It stays open for three months. Uh, we've arranged things carefully so that there is no need to have a land rush at the very beginning. Um, so uh, tomorrow is, is, is extremely important. The next important date, if you will, will be the date when the window closes. And then fairly rapidly after that, uh, the world will see how many applications have come in, what names have been chosen, and, uh, and we'll all have a lot more data uh, to uh, look at in this process.